Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Netflix tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your Netflix region, and that will allow you to watch Netflix from different countries in the world. This can be useful if you're trying to watch shows that aren't available on Netflix in your current country. So I'm in the United States, and if I go to Netflix and I try to watch the show Friends, you can see that nothing comes up. But if I want to watch that show with my Netflix subscription, I can use a tool called a VPN to make Netflix think I'm in the UK. And as you can see, I don't even have to search for it. I can go ahead and start watching Friends on Netflix using this method. So in this tutorial, I'll show you a couple different VPNs that will work for Netflix and allow you to do this. And then I'll show you how to actually do this. So basically the way a VPN works is you log into the VPN and then you tell it which region in the world you want to connect to. And then you connect to Netflix through that VPN. So you will then log into Netflix from whatever region you select. And like I said, this is a great way to either see content that isn't available in your country, or if you're traveling, you can watch the content that is available in your country while being abroad. So first you will need a VPN to actually do this. And there are two that I recommend, ExpressVPN and Ivacy VPN. The reason I recommend these is because they are large VPNs with tons of servers. This helps prevent Netflix from kind of catching on to what's going on and preventing the service from working. So as you can see, v ExpressVPN with over 3000 servers in 94 countries and Ivacy VPN with over 3,500 servers in a hundred plus countries. But with both of these VPNs, you'll not only be able to stream Netflix in different countries, you'll also be able to use just about any other streaming service, including Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO, BBC, and many more. And another reason I like both of these VPNs is because they're compatible with just about any device. They have proprietary apps for iOS, for your iPhone, Android phone, Windows computer, MacBook, they both have dedicated Fire Stick apps, and they even work on your Chromebooks. So you can really use these on any device without any issues. And on top of that, they are not that expensive. ExpressVPN, you can get as low as about $6 a month. And check the description, I do have a link to that discount below. And Ivacy VPN, you can get as low as $2.45 a month. Again, check the description for those discounts. So really not that expensive and they will work with Netflix as well as other streaming services. All right, so now that we've kind of gone through the different options available, let's look into the apps and see how easy they are to use and what it actually looks like when you use them. So we'll start with the Ivacy VPN, and this is just a Chrome extension, but it will look very similar on any device that you install it on. So I'll select it here. As you can see, we can quickly turn on and off the VPN by just selecting this power button. And if we wanna change the region, they have several different options. So first you can select your purpose. If you're going to be using it for a streaming service such as Netflix, we can select start streaming. And then as you can see, they have several different streaming services available and whichever country you wanna watch in there. So we can search Netflix and we can see they have three dedicated servers for Netflix, but that doesn't mean you're limited to those services. So additionally at the bottom here, I can go to the locations and I can connect to any of these countries and then log into Netflix there. So if I do Japan, then I refresh Netflix. As you can see, Netflix thinks I am in Japan right now. So I can see anime, I can see all these different things that are available on the Japanese version of Netflix. And again, this app is very easy to use. You can turn it off whenever you want and turn it on whenever you need to. So now let's look at ExpressVPN. And again, I'll use the extension, but it'll look very similar if you have the app on your iPhone or Android phone or your computer or your MacBook, anything like that. So we'll open it up. And as you can see, they have a power button as well where I can quickly connect, but it's not as intuitive as the Ivacy app for your purpose. So to change our location, we simply go over here, select the three little dots, and then we can select our location from the list and even see all of their locations available. I'll go ahead and select United Kingdom. Then when I refresh Netflix, it's going to show that I am in the UK. And as you can see, I can now watch Friends on Netflix and The Office. Now we'll do a quick speed test comparison between ExpressVPN and Ivacy. So we'll start with ExpressVPN connected to the UK. So as you can see, very good speed. Now we'll connect to the UK on Ivacy. We're using the same server we did in the previous test. 
And there you go. As you can see, the download is faster, but the upload is slower. So if you're using the VPN for streaming, I think IVC is going to be the faster service for you. All right, so that's how you change your region on Netflix using a VPN. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I will be putting links in the description for discounts on both ExpressVPN and IVC VPN, so check those out. If you'd like to see more VPN or Netflix tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.